Hello and welcome to the tutorial for Levine Scholars Finalist Program. I'm going to show you how to log in and then how to work the event once it is live. Here's the registration page. And if you click join events, Here you go, um, whether you're a scholar or attendee, you select which one you are, and then you, you select it, and then you click sign up to join event. You're gonna wanna maximize this screen. Okay, and you can sign in with any of these, uh, or you sign up with your email. And what you do is you put your first name and your last name, email address, and create a password, click I agree to hop in terms. Here is what the event looks like once you are live. And you will not be able to do this until the actual day of the event and it goes live. You cannot see this prior to the event going live. When it does go live, you will be in the reception area. And in here is kind of like the venue's lobby. And this is just how to work hop in and tips for working hop in. Before I get into the areas, I'm going to want to show you the chat box. Here, as you can see, is the event chat. I'll type in a message. And this chat will be this chat, you can see no matter what area you are in. Polls as if the event organizer wants to do a poll. People will show you who all is registered for the event. Now, if there is a green dot by their name, it means that person is actually in the event. And Q&A, you won't really use in your event chat. Now back to people, if you want to send a direct message to someone, you see someone that's listed here, you click on it, and then a chat box will open down at the bottom. You type it in, press send, and then that will be the message will be sent to that person. If they respond, keep an eye out for a red dot on the envelope. That means they have responded to you. Keep an eye out for any red dots. If there's a red dot in chat or a red dot in Q&A, it means there's something new there. Now I'm going to take you to the stage, which is where you'll go first. And this is where the welcome, the welcome uh, remarks will happen. As you can see, here is the event chat, and here is the stage chat. Now, the only way for the audience to communicate with the stage is through this stage chat. So if you have comments, put it in the chat box here. If you have questions, put it right here. That way, the person on stage doesn't have to go through the comments to answer it, doesn't have to look through the comments to answer a question. The next area, which will be the bulk of the uh, area, which we will spend most of your time, is the sessions area. Now, as you can see, the sessions are listed here. Now, with this, it's an I with a zero. That shows you how many people are actually located in the event, I mean, in that session. And I, Jennifer Armour, will be located in the help desk. I'll be able to help you with any technical issues or event questions. I'm gonna go ahead and bring you into a session. You click on it. And now once it pops up, you will be able to see everyone who's in the room, You'll be able to see them talking. They will not be able to see you until you share your audio video. We'll pop up in a minute. And then you click apply. So here I am, Jennifer Armour. And as you can see down below, these are the various things. Um, you, this is the closed caption. 
if you want to have, uh, you want to see it out in writing. Here you can show your video. Here is your mic. So if you want to turn off your video on your mic, here is the presentation screen. And it, only the scholars will be using this. But if they want to share their screen, they just click on it. And as you can see, something will pop up. When you select it, make sure there is a blue line around it and press share. Up here, only 10 people can share their audio video. So you will see how many people are sharing their audio video. So if you enter into the room and you don't see a share button, it means that everyone's using their videos. So you can just wait until someone stops sharing their video. This eyeball with the number shows you how many people are located in the room. Here you can see event chat and session chat. And this is the session solely for this chat room. And here's where you can put in comments um, or, and here's a poll if the person running the session wants to do a poll. People tab shows you um, how many people are located, the number of people or who all is located in this session. And the Q&A is where you would put any questions for the person running the session if you don't want to share your audio video or if you are unable to do it. Again, keep an eye out for red dots because that means there's something new. Now to leave, to stop sharing your audio video, you press leave. You want to go to another session, you just click on session. And you scroll through here. I'm going to take you to the last area, which is networking. And this is kind of like a speed dating. You click join and you will be connected to someone for another participant who is in this area for about three minutes. And as you can see over on the right hand side, you'll be able to see their information. And once the once the about 30 seconds before it's supposed to end, because once it ends, you're randomly paired with someone else again. So there'll be a clock and it'll be a countdown. And if you want to continue the meeting, you will there'll be an extension button or continue button. And um, the other person has to press that button as well. So that is the end of the tutorial. And thank you for watching.